Hi, I'm Erin, your friendly Hackney Libraries librarian. And today is our Hackney Libraries and World Book Night quiz. World Book Night is run by the reading agency to encourage people to read for pleasure. According to statistics, only one in four adults in England read for fun. And that number drops to one in two young people. This year, the theme of Board Book Night is books to make you smile. So we've decided to do a really fun, cute, and short literary quiz, a pub quiz style literary quiz, although obviously you can host this anywhere with as many teams as you want. We will leave this up for you on YouTube so you can take it at any time. We believe that this quiz should take less than an hour. So there are three rounds of 30 questions total. The first round is multiple choice, second is picture round, and third one is first lines. There'll be 10 points per round for a total of 30 points. And we will do the answers at the end of each round. So if you're ready, get a piece of paper and a writing utensil. Make sure your team is set and let's go. Round one, general book knowledge. This will be 10 questions for a total of 10 points. There are multiple choice and the answers will be at the end of the round. Remember, you can always pause if you need more time. Number one, on what London street did Sherlock Holmes live? A, Liverpool Street, B, Baker Street, C, Oxford Street, or D, Carnaby Street? Who is the best-selling fiction author of all time with over two billion sales? Is it A, Agatha Christie, B, J.K. Rowling, C, Roald Dahl, or D, William Shakespeare? Number three, to which hospital did J. M. Bari give the rights to, of Peter Pan? A. Homerton Hospital, B. Royal London Hospital, C. St. Thomas Hospital, or D. Great Ormond Street? Number four, Fifty Shades of Grey started out as a fan fiction of which popular series? A, A Song of Ice and Fire, otherwise known as Game of Thrones. B, Divergent. C, Twilight. Or D, The Hunger Games. Number five, which city has the most libraries per 100,000 people? Is it A, Warsaw, B, Seoul, C, Tokyo, or D, Brussels? Number six, which book has been translated into the most different languages and dialects, currently at 383? Is it Asterix? Is it The Little Prince or Le Petit Prince? Is it Pinocchio or is it Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? Number seven, name the author of Women's Murder Club, who was the first to sell over one million ebooks. Is it A, Stephen King, B, Hilary Mantel, C, James Patterson, or D, J.K. Rowling? Number eight, what was the first novel typed on a typewriter? A, As I Lay Dying, B, The Sound and the Fury, C, Animal Farm, or D, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. For this one, think back to when the typewriter may have been invented and commonly used. Number nine, name the book which was banned in Ireland in 1932. I will admit I did not know the answer to this one. A, Brave New World, 
B, the Maltese falcon. C, their eyes were watching God. Or D, the metamorphosis. And the last one, number 10, what is the name of the book which chronologically comes first and tells the story of the world's creation in C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia series? Is it A, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? B, The Horse and His Boy? C, The Magician's Nephew? Or D, The Silver Chair? Remember, this is chronologically, so this is the book which is in order in the series, not necessarily the book which was written first. And now we'll go over the answers. If you need more time, just hit pause here. So round one answers. Number one, Sherlock Holmes lives on Baker Street. Two, Agatha Christie is the best fiction author of all time, best-selling fiction author of all time. Three is Great Ormond Street, which was the hospital where uh, J. M. Barry left his uh, money to. Uh, number four is Twilight. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey was originally a fan fiction called Masters of the Universe. Um, the most books, the most libraries per person is Warsaw, which makes me really want to go to Warsaw. Um, the most translated book is The Little Prince or Le Petit Prince. Um, the biggest ebook seller is James Patterson. Um, the first book written on a typewriter was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. And at the time, that was very new and interesting. The book banned from Ireland is Brave New World. And I believe it was because of the drug use and um, all the sex and the cloning and everything. And the last one, number 10, the book which tells the creation of the Narnia world is The Magician's Nephew. So that's the chronological first book in the series. Once you have those, we will move on to round two. Round two, the picture round. Um, this one is more difficult than the multiple choice round. Um, remember, you can always hit pause to discuss things. So if you're ready, one, two, three. Number one, name these two authors who share a name. You need both names for the point. Number two, name the title of this popular book written in emojis. Number three, name the novel from this iconic book cover. Number four, guess the title of this novel from the following word puzzle. These are the ones I can never get. Number five, name these two authors who share a name. You need both names for the point. Number six, here's an easy one. Name the title of this popular children's book. Number seven, another difficult dingbat. Guess the title of this novel from the following word puzzle. Number eight, 
Name the title of this popular book written in emojis. Number nine, another one, name the title of this popular book written in emojis. And finally, number 10, another dingbat, guess the title of this novel from the following word puzzle. So now would be a good time to hit pause. We're gonna go over the answers. So please complete anything you haven't already. Remember, these will be a total of 10 points for this round and a total of 10 points from the first round. So this will be 20 points. So here are the answers. Number one, that was Allie Smith and Zadie Smith. Number two, this was The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This is one of the ones where you look at it and you're like, of course. Number three, the iconic cover was A Clockwork Orange. Number four, the dingbat was The Invisible Man. Because get it, man was blocked out of management. Number five is James Baldwin and E.L. James. Number six, this was an easy one, Where the Wild Things Are. Number seven, this one made me laugh, actually. The answer is Tinder is the Night. So there's Tinders, and then there's one night, Sir Galahad. Number eight is The Hunger Games. That's another one where you're like, oh, of course. Number nine is War and Peace. So you had the swords for war and then the dove for peace. And the last one, which I thought was hilarious, is the cat in the hat. So total up all of these and we'll move on to round three. Welcome back. And we're now on round three, which is first lines to famous novels. Some of these are quite difficult. Some are a bit easier. This will be a total of 10 points, just like the other rounds. So at the end of the game, you should have a number out of 30. Are you ready? Remember to hit pause if you need more time. Okay, one, two, three. Number one, it was a queer, sultry summer, the summer they electrocuted the Rosenbergs, and I didn't know what I was doing in New York. So the Rosenbergs, for those who don't know history, they were um, Russian spies caught in America. Number two, this is an easier one. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. I think most people will get this one. Number three, it was a pleasure to burn. Number four, another easy one, call me Ishmael. Number five, all children except one grow up. Number six, it was a bright cold day in April and the clocks were striking 13. Number seven, I'm a sick man, a spiteful man. Number eight, another easy one. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four, Privet Drive, were proud to say they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. Number nine, I wrote this sitting in the kitchen sink. Number 10 in our last question, Hale knew before he had been in Brighton three hours that they had meant to murder him.
So if there's any more you need to do, please hit pause before we go over the answers. For the answers, you just need the title. You don't necessarily need the author. If you've got both, great. So number one was The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Number two, the easy one, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Number three, the word burn may have been a hint, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Number four, another easy one, Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Number five, it was Peter Pan by J. M. Barry. The hint there was, except one child never grows up. Number six is 1984 by George Orwell. That one, uh, the trick is the number 13 on the clock. Number seven is Notes from the Underground by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Number eight, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. Another very easy one. You could tell by Privet Drive and the Dursleys. Number nine, I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. And finally, number 10 is a classic, Brighton Rock by Graham Greene. So you only need the titles for this. So once you've got your score out of 10, now add up all of your scores out of 30. And the winner, congratulations. Thank you for participating in our World Book Night Literary Quiz. As I said earlier, you, we will leave this up on YouTube for you to take it any time. Um, visit the Hackney Libraries website at hackney.gov.uk stroke libraries to see our current opening times and what you can do at our libraries. Our Twitter is at Hackney Libs. Tweet us anytime. Our Facebook is Hackney Libraries and our YouTube, which you are probably on at the moment, is bit.ly stroke Hack Library YT. Um, our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter all feature weekly crafts and story times and little fun bits like this. Subscribe, follow, like, all those kinds of wonderful social media things and keep, keep up with uh, what's going on in your public library. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed the quiz.